Welcome to our 2021 Bethel Production virtual walkthrough. I'm Paul Fair, and if you've been following our multi-view streams on Sundays, you'll see I'm usually the guy typing, um, answering all your questions, but I don't talk on comms a lot, so this is the, probably the first time you guys get to hear my voice and definitely the first time you guys see my face. Today, we're just gonna go a brief overview over each station that our production team works at. So welcome to our set. Uh, we will start first with our LED wall. Uh, we use Unilumen UPad 3 4.8 millimeter LED tiles with Nova Star processors. Um, these little strips are also kind of like LED walls. They are called row strips, and we run that with a Brompton, pass, uh, Brompton processor. Lightwise, we use a ton of washes. Um, most of them are GLP X4 washes and we've got a couple Chave Professional R2 washes. Um, we use those same Chave R2s for our key light for singers. And for pastors and speakers on the front podium, we just use uh, standard PARS and Leco. Um, next, we will talk a little bit about our backline. Um, for instruments, we usually supply a Nord keyboard, um, which they use usually as a MIDI controller. And so we've got a little rig here with in I play audio uh, interface and it's got uh, XLRs on the back. So people just show up with their laptop plug-in, they've got an interface, they've got a keyboard, and they most of them use Ableton, some people use Mainstage uh, to do their keyboard sounds. We also supply the bass player, um, a bass amp and a cab. We take a DI line in and we also mic the cab so we can blend the two sound sources. Uh, we provide drums and drummers usually bring their own cymbals um, and if we walk back here we also have uh, guitar amps for guitar players here at bethel we really like um, tube amps so we usually don't use any like digital amp each guitar player will get a vox ac30 and a fender prosonic so that they can play in stereo so we've got four of them in the same room as our guitar amps, uh, we have our power distro for all the lighting and LED. We also have our distros for DMX, along with our row strip processors. It's a rental, so it's kind of uh, temporary. Cool. Let's walk over to monitors. So at monitors, we have a Digico SD8. Uh, we run Waves. We've got a extreme server um, for all the processing for plugins. Um, each band member and vocalist gets a Sennheiser G3 wireless pack and we have a monitor engineer here that mixes their in-ears. It's got a nice little window, um, so you can see the band members, you can see the vocalists, um, talk to them, see what they need, what they want. So to, down here on the right we've got a three-way split, so front of house, monitors and broadcast can all do their own separate gains. So all the mics come here and then they go out three ways to monitors front of house and broadcast, which is downstairs. So in this monitor room, we also keep all of our extra cables. It's useful so the monitor engineer can go out on stage and like fix something if something goes down. We've got a bunch of extra cables. We've got in-ear packs here, um, guitar supplies from like capos to extra strings. We've got tuners if they need them, DI boxes of different types. Um, a bunch of zip ties and drills and random tools that we need. A big box full of batteries, uh, double A's for the handheld mics and the in-ear packs. And we've also got nine volts because there's always some bass player that has an active bass that their batteries did. Um, let's go now to our video control room. So in this room, we have all of our video equipment racked up. We've got uh, switchers, video hubs, uh, our comm system, LED wall processors for our side iMag screens. We've got Resi up here. Um, we don't actually switch on the switchers. So let's go into the control room and we will show you where we control it all from. Here we have the hardware panel that controls the switchers over there. Um, they get to see the cameras here, preview buses, program buses. Basically, it flows from here into that computer, which is the computer that actually encodes to the internet. We're using Livestream Studio 6. Um, we've also got a computer here 
um, to play some graphics off of ProPresenter. And we've got some HyperDex to record our services, also playback if we ever need to play a file back from a HyperDeck. Here, we also keep storage of our wireless units for cameras, our batteries and their chargers, lets you know if the batteries are charged or not charged, our cameras, cases with lenses, and all sorts of like video gear that we need for the cameras. Next up, we'll go into our final step of audio processing for broadcast, which is this room. Um, this room receives the broadcast worship mix, and it also m receives a backup feed from our front of house console. Um, and it just goes into this analog console and worship gets mixed in another room, but here they just make sure that the levels are proper for broadcast. Um, they also mix the sermon. So worship gets mixed somewhere else, but the sermon gets mixed here. And they also use Waves plugins for like limiting and compressing the speakers and making sure that our audio is nice and loud for broadcast. So let's just head on over to our worship broadcast room. So this is where the worship mix happens. This is Luke Hendrickson. Um, he mixes worship for us for the broadcast. And basically he has a big analog console that he uses for preamps. And it just comes off of that split. It goes into the consoles. He uses the preamps. And then they go into Apogee Symphonies. And that's how it enters his computer. And he does the mix in Pro Tools. Um, this also serves as a green room for the worship band. So typically, like on a Sunday when the worship band finishes playing, they'll come down here. Our broadcast mix will switch to that other studio we were just in. And then the worship band can sit here. They can listen to what they just played, um, make changes if they want to do a different song or change something in the chorus for the next service or something. So it's really nice that they can just come back here immediately after and review what they just played um, and talk about it and have coffee. And... So Luke, did I explain this room more or less OK? Perfect. Let's head over to front of house. So as you can see, um, our main campus is actually a gym. So it's kind of interesting. During the week, it's actually an elementary school. They'll have their gym class in here. So we've got like basketball hoops and, and that. It's kind of cool, kind of hard sometimes. The lines on the carpet. Yep, lines on the carpet. So welcome to front of house. Uh, we'll start with audio first. We have the same console we have at monitors, a Digico SD8. And they also have a Waves Extreme server. Um, to do all the processing. Uh, another thing that we have here, we also run Logic um, and we'll run like some reverbs that we can't run on a Wave server. Um, or if we wanted to run any other plugins that aren't Waves, we have the ability to do that on any channel, which is kind of cool. Um, for more audio processing, we have a Meyer Sound Galileo and a Galaxy for our PA and other rooms in our building. We also have like a recorder, um, the Wave server, some network switches. Um, and some other computers. Talking about other computers, this bottom computer is the computer that I use the most. Um, it's our Resolume computer. I'll show you that in a second. Um, we've also got our LED wall processors for the stage up here. And yeah, let's head over to the Resolume computer. Um, so typically on a Sunday, this is where I work. Um, I use Resolume Arena 7. Um, and I'll do all the content on the LED walls um, for worship, for speaking, it all gets done here. Um, I've also got Stream Decks, I love them, running companion software. And I will control the side screens, the iMag in the room, like what camera or if it's program or if it's a specific camera or graphic, I'll do that. And I've also got some other shortcuts. I'll control lower thirds on broadcast and like timers on ProPresenter, all from those Stream Decks. And on this other side, here we have Andrew Kelch. He's our main lighting director. Um, he does lights here on a Grand MA2 command wing. And he's got two touch screens to control that. And one thing that's really useful here, he has um, a TV where he can see every camera and he can see the program feed. So he can usually tell faster than cam ops can if it's too dark or too bright. And he can help adjust the lighting for that. Um, he's also got another monitor, which is my Resolume monitor. We've got it twice. So during Sunday, we, we do a lot of things spontaneous. And so I'll be working on like an idea for like the next part of the song and he can see what I'm doing um, and we'll just talk over comms if like we like that idea or if we shouldn't do it. So it's nice that my monitors are twice so we can talk about things and make it look the best we can. And then the final corner here in this room, we've got um, our CG computer, our computer graphics. 
Uh, we use ProPresenter 7, and this is where we will run lyrics, um, run slides and videos from it. It also sends clocks out for our stage display, um, which I actually control from Companion, but this is the computer actually doing all the work. Um, one cool thing, we've got a little preview monitor for them. They can see program, so they can see what's out on broadcast. They can see what their CG window is. It's black right now, but they'll like see their lyrics, and this is their confidence monitor. So they can just make sure that all of their outputs are working properly and that it looks correct on the broadcast. Thank you for watching our 2021 Bethel Production Virtual Walkthrough.